Joining us now is Jocelyn's mother, Alexis Nungri. Jocelyn, thank you so much for being here. It takes a lot of bravery. I'm so sorry for your loss. I want to ask you again, how are you doing? Um, there's no right or wrong answer. It's, um, there, every day is hard. Some days are just easier than others because it's not just me and being strong for it's her little brother as well. And you were talking to me off camera that her little brother is just realizing and processing what happened to his older sister. He is. He's um he's an amazing, very wise, admirable five year old little boy. And throughout the tragedy and the days and the services, all he was was being there for everybody in the family, every adult hugging everybody, giving them hugs, giving them kisses being that anchor for everybody who needed him. And, you know, now the, the days have, have kind of gone through, we've gone through days and it's like, he's finally getting set that it's, it's real. It, she's, she's not here and it's, it's sinking in and it's, it's been a hard few days with him lately. And it's, um, um, now I guess I get to be strong for him and I get to be his anchor as much as, he needs me to be. And you are trying to get justice, hoping for justice for your daughter. Why is this legislation so important? So important because there's so many kids that are so innocent and have so much ahead of them and they have their entire lives to look forward to and be their biggest dreams. But a lot of these children get their lives ripped away from them from these illegals being here illegally doing crime like they did in their country, coming here thinking they could do the same thing. It's not right. It's we don't need to be burying our kids. It's not fair. They they need to be burying us. So it's um it's very hard. And I I, I pray and I pray and I, I I'm preaching for everyone to please support it. Please support this Justice for Jocelyn Act because. I shouldn't have to be burying my 12 year old. I shouldn't have had to pick a casket for her. I shouldn't have had to pick a headstone for her. So um, this act will help families across the world in the States, at least to just in Texas, really to put more control on this. Please don't just release anybody. You don't know who's coming in here. You don't know who we're, who we're allowing to be and have access to our children, it's, it's just not it's just not okay. And I, I really wish and I really hope that everyone hears my plead and hears my sorrows and, and resonates with it because we have to stop this. This has to be a start to something different. We need to make a change. Alexis, talk to me about the justice for Jocelyn legislation. What does it entail? So it is entailing that we make sure that any illegals, immigrants that, that come into Texas, they are withheld and they are put into these detention centers with these detention beds and they're able to hold them and make sure that they are proper citizens to be released with us, our, us citizens here in Texas, and not just release them. If there are beds for them to sit at, at these detention centers, they need to be there. That's what these beds are for. Why are they there? They're At this point, it seems like they're just a waste of space. They're supposed to be used for these individuals who come here illegally. There's a right way to come here, and there's a wrong way to come here. And these gentlemen have, these men, I don't even want to call them gentlemen, these monsters came here illegally and continue to do what they needed to do. And this this Justice for Jocelyn Act is also gonna help if they have to have ankle monitors, that they're going to have a curfew because unfortunately all crime happens at the late hours of night when no one's around, when there's not a lot of people to be seen, there's no bystanders. They need a curfew or they have to be home from 10, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. to ensure that we lessen the dangers on the streets for our children and for these women and for these men who become victims. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven 
unbiased coverage.